What is up everybody, it is Raj Itchilasic on Lightning Lloyd YouTube and I am back with another how-to video with iMovie 11 and today is a somewhat helpful video. This is a how-to video but this is also a fun trick to learn if you want to know how to do this. Um, it's not really used often but if you are looking for how to do it then I guess I could show you how to and it's extremely easy with just a couple steps so today I will be teaching you how to add double text in an iMovie project so let's get on with the video so let's go on to the text and let's look for something that looks good now before doing this i know that a lot of people here are experienced with iMovie and the text of course i mean if you're not then uh <laughs> i really don't know what to say but <clears throat> some text like uh let's say the drifting the vertical the pull focused organic main and even stuff like this, like if you wanted organic lower and clouds, it would be kind of like, eh, it would not look at, good at all. If you want something like a soft bar and something like, let's say, uh, upper or center, then yeah, that's like a good combination. Basically, I'm just saying that before we get into the video, uh, doing things like that are not really good uh combinations let's say but it will not affect anything let's see the pole focus does that but it's not going to affect any of these it depends because you would have to use this one first and then this one same thing with horizontal blur but eh, not really it's more of the effects but let's go on and let's just start with uh let's go with upper so let's take upper and let's take black as the background and we're going to put text let's put uh how to double effect or double text I've been making too many effect videos alright so as you see there's the video there's the text now uh, if you know I'm not saying like if you have just one here you can only use one and that's it if you have a big video or whatever or just want to like learn how to make double text on anything then this is what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to put the text of course whatever you're gonna put then you're going to have to go to share and export movie. Once you export the movie, you want to do HD 1080p. Now the reason why it has to be so high is because you want the greatest quality ever. Because if you want to add a double text, you can't have any cropping issues and it'll look blurry and horrible. And yes, you want it to make it uh, 1080 HP or P, my bad. But yes, you want to make it the highest uh, high definition possible, which of course on iMovie is 10. 80 so once you do that you are just going to export it and don't mind any of this because uh this really does i don't know why this uh why this is even here where if you make it uh any higher like this it's not for this or anything like that uh don't worry about that because you're still going to put it back in here and you can make it hd or large or whatever you want to do but for this we're going to go 1080 and we're going to export it hopefully it goes quick if not then we can uh continue when it's done and it appears like it is going pretty fast, yes, because it's only a fourth second uh, clip or text, so it should go by pretty quick. So once you do this, it'll go up on your uh, desktop. You'll see right here, it'll say uh, that it's shared or it's already published. So we're going to go to our desktop real quick, and it'll be somewhere right here. Uh, it's called double text because that's what I called it. We're going to grab it, we're going to go back, and we are going to put it in an event should be going pretty fast and yes there we go so we could close our text uh we don't need that anymore and as you see uh here it is now i don't know why it says 3.9 um if you want to make it longer you can see I, I don't know why it looks a little bit blurry you're supposed to have the greatest uh quality ever but i guess that's because this is very old so i'm not so sure so you just create a new project or do the same one or you know just ah whatever because if you want to put text like that in your uh project might as well as make a new one before you do beforehand and then you'll have the whole video uh right here make it into here or just put it into your original one you know what i mean it's basically go into a new one uh publish this 
then put it in your original one, and then you could add the second text. So we're just going to use this one, so just delete. Uh, don't uh, Just ignore this, because you're not going to put it in this one. You're just going to put it in the one you want to put it in. Then we're going to take this, hold command, click it for the whole clip, and we're going to put it in here. So, as you see, there it is, how to double text, and we are going to go here. And we are going to grab something else, like a lower third or a lower. We're going to go a lower third just to see. Or we could go a centered. Let's go a centered. So we're going to do the whole thing. And there you have it. There is two text. There's one up here and one in the middle. And we're going to call this one successful. Oops. There we go. So, yep. Here we go. That is how you do the double text. And if you want, you could share export the movie and do it again if you want to do a third one but it seems kind of unnecessary but that is up to you this is your project you do whatever you want add as much text as you want uh go ahead you guys can mess around with different combinations and yes it'll turn out like this so how to double text that's uh you can't edit this you know you're gonna have to uh yeah, see, it'll go to this one. If you want to edit this one, then you're just going to have to start over from the first one, like uh, how you did in this one. You're going to have to start over, put it here, and then do it all over again. So, that is how you do uh, double text on iMovie. It's not really helpful, you know, or really asked for, but this is like something that is really good to learn if you want to know how to do it and mess around with it, or, you know... Just do anything with it, and I'm sorry if the text looks a little bit blurry. Uh, that's why I said try and make it as high as you can for the video, the quality and everything. Like, because this is the highest it goes, 1080. So just go with that. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any other uh, how-to uh, videos you want me to do or any questions down below for anything with iMovie, I am more than happy to help you with it. So... Uh, with that being said, I will see you in another video, and peace out.